It's Tuesday, which means it's time for a... Wait, don't we do these on Monday normally? Well, yes, but there was one story so mahoosive it deserved a quick take all of its own. The Fey Protocol Genesis event, of course. And what is Fey? Well, it's one of those newfangled Albergo stablecoins that's partially backed by Ethereum and uses bonding curves coupled with direct incentives to maintain the correct peg. These incentives penalize price fluctuations that move the price away from the peg and reward trades that push it back up in the right direction. Neat. So it's a stable coin with a peg of one fey to one dollar, which means you can simply redeem one fey for one dollar and... Wait, what do you mean I can't do that? What's the, what's the point of it? <sighs> well, now I'm angry. Confused? Well, so you should be, but fear not. I will explain everything right after these messages from today's sponsor, Oasis Protocol. Oasis is one of the leading privacy-enabled layer one blockchains for DeFi. It was founded by Dawn Song, an award-winning professor from Berkeley with backers such as Andreessen Horowitz, Axel, Binance Labs, and more. Oasis already has several projects building on its network and partners such as the CryptoSafe Alliance with Binance, Chainlink, Balancer, Meter, and many others. If you're interested in building a DeFi app, join the Oasis Hackathon, which is running until April the 16th. They recently launched a new smart contract environment with full EVM and Solidity toolchain support and gas fees that are 99% lower than Ethereum. If you have a bigger project in mind, Oasis also runs a large grants program with over 1.5 million US dollars in ROSE tokens available for funding DeFi apps. Visit their website at oasisprotocol.org to learn more. Now, back to Fey. During the Genesis event, users were allowed to mint Fey from the ETH bonding curve at a discount starting at 50 cents. The supply-based growth rate should result in the stablecoin reaching its peg once enough collateral had been deposited. A Genesis group of early adopters and investors was created to participate in the launch, which also included an airdrop of its governance token called Tribe. And the bold numbers here are redonk. They raised $1.2 billion and the Fey Tribe pool was number one on Uniswap with $2.6 billion in liquidity. That is a lot. And it all sounds tremendously successful and wonderful, except there is a bit of a catch. You see, investors had the opportunity to pre-swap Fey for Tribe and $383 million worth of retail decided to do exactly that. They also aped into the discounted Fey on the bonding curve only to run into a major problem. You see, the protocol uses a concept called protocol control value, PCV, meaning that when users deposit collateral, the capital is owned and managed by the protocol so that liquidity can't just be pulled out. But when you airdrop free tokens, what do you think the herd wants to do? Yep, GTFO. Get the f out! This doesn't mean that you can't sell, it just means that if you do, you are going to get absolutely spanked by the burn mechanism. You see, there are supposed to be incentives to reward traders for buying up supply below the peg, but the weight of selling pressure from that airdrop has meant that the incentives are completely out of balance. Selling Fey below its $1 peg triggers the burn mechanic that becomes exponentially worse the further the price is from the peg. Now, at the moment, when I recorded this video, Fey is currently 4.13% off its peg. So selling 100 Fey results in a penalty of 16.96 Fey. Scale that up and see how badly that will hurt. However, Maybe, just maybe, this was the plan all along. Lock in liquidity, make it so punishing to withdraw that the incentives gradually and organically bring the peg back to where it should be and everyone has a chance to catch their breath. So the peg is, albeit slowly, being recovered. But if we look at the buy side, then we see that the incentives are actually worse than the penalty for selling, which, well, that's not really a great incentive for traders to help build the peg back up. And here's the thing, with $2.6 billion in liquidity on Uniswap, you would have thought Fey holders would have a choice and some liquidity to sell into, but it looks like they really don't. As Bantake himself commented, 2.5 billion supply, and it can't even sustain a $10 million trade without a 20% penalty. So for anyone caught in this liquidity versus solvency bear trap, waited out, is really all you can do. So stay safe out there and think before you ape. 
That's it for today. Don't forget to get yourself subscribed on YouTube and to keep up with all the latest DeFi news, head on over to thedefined.io or just go ahead and join our Telegram channel. See ya!